Today's topic is going to be on uh, multi-phase flow basics and modeling using ANSYS Fluent. So the object is for uh, today's webinar uh, is to introduce this broad field of multi-phase flows to uh, you guys. I mean, it's a, a fairly extensive uh, area today. Uh, uh, parts of this field are still, uh, you know, developing. People are still developing models, so it's still an active area of research. Uh, and I'll, we'll, I'll briefly talk about why we need to study multi-phase flows and how CFD can be used to study these multi-phase flows uh, and what kind of information we can get by using CFD for these uh, flows. I'll give a basic introduction to multi-phase multi -phase flows and then um, I'll talk about different types of multi-phase flows. After that, I'll, I'll show a general workflow that, uh, that people usually adopt to solve this multi-phase flows. Um, after that, we'll look at an example um, from one of my past projects on how we can use CFD to um, extract meaningful results and um, you know gain insights into um, a complex process. Moving on, uh, so what is multi-phase flow? I mean, uh, people who have some background in fluid mechanics, uh, you know what a single phase flow is, right? I mean, it, it is made up of just one type of fluid. So a multi-phase flow is a flow uh, which has two or more immiscible phases uh, flowing simultaneously in a given domain. What I mean by this is uh, in my system or domain of interest, I have two or more fluids which don't mix with each other. Um, an example of that would be the gas liquid flow. I have a picture of that at the bottom of the slide here. So I have gas bubbles being entrained um, into a liquid here. So that would be an example of a multi-phase flow. Usually a multi-phase flow is made up of one continuous fluid. In this example, the continuous fluid would be water and a dispersed phase, which in this case would be uh, my air that is being entrained. So my gas bubbles will be my dispersed phase and my water would be my continuous phase. Uh, we see multi-phase flows all across us every single day. Uh, for example, if you, uh, I mean, now it's the monsoon season in India, so rain would be an example of a multi-phase flow as well. I mean, we have liquid droplets that continuously travel uh, in a medium made up of air, right? So my air is the continuous uh, phase there and I have liquid droplets, which is a disc discrete, discrete phase that um, that is being transported continuously in my system of interest. Um, another example um, that we commonly see uh, in the natural world is what a, a volcano would be an example of gas solid flows. In the case of volcano, uh, my atmosphere, which is essentially made up of air, would be the continuous phase and uh, the eruption uh, that happens, which releases a whole bunch of gases and other particulate matter, uh, they would be the discrete phase. So it's again an example of a complex multi-phase flow uh, that we see in the nature. Uh, coming to the flows of interest, I mean, we are essentially interested in studying flows um, that we see in the industry, right? So an example of that would be uh, uh, an hydrocyclone, schematic of an hydrocyclone shown here on the right. So you can see that the feed here, I mean, I, I've marked the feed stream. So it goes through the pipe uh, and the objective is to separate the liquid and the solid. So as the pressurized feed passes through the hydrocyclone separator, um, the denser phase, which in this case are solids, they're pushed to the walls and the lighter phase, uh, it goes to the center. Um, and because of this uh, vortex that is formed in the center, we uh, take out the liquid from the top and our solids come out of the bottom. So this would be an example of a multi-phase flow system that we uh, come across in an, in an industrial setting. Uh -huh.